Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to explain the using of the EEPROM of the Big 16 F6716 microcontroller. Here we can see it is the data sheet of the Big uh, 16 F6716 microcontroller. And this PIC uh, has about 124 words of flash memory, which is the program memory, and in the data memory. There are two kinds of data memory. One is the static RAM bytes, which is 64 bytes, and other is the EEPROM, which is the electrical electrical erasable program programmable electrical erasable programmable read only memory, which is 128 bytes. And there are 12 input input output pins of the PIC16 F6716 microcontroller in one comparator. And there is about uh, one eight bit timer and other sixteen bit timer. And you can uh, read uh, the EEPROM of the PIC microcontroller and uh, write uh, one twenty eight bytes to the PIC microcontrollers. You can store about one twenty eight characters uh, to the EEPROMs, which may be a message, uh, which may be any password that can be stored on the EEPROM. Um, program memory of the PIC microcontrollers. In order to explain um, how to write uh, data to the EEPROM of the microcontroller, you have to open the Play XID window. So this is under the free software from Microchip. Play XID microcontroller microchip uh, software. You have to open the window. In the window, you have to click the pick memory views and the pick memory. Then you have to click on the e data memory. When you click there, the window will be appear like that. This is the program memory of the pick microcontroller, pick 16 F6716 microcontroller program. Erasable electrical erasable e pro memory. Which is about 128 bytes. Start from zero. This one is the addresses: 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 15 addresses, and the, the, the there are rows and columns of the program memory. You can store any word or character in, in each cells. There are, there are about 128 memory cells and each uh, memory cell has its own address. By putting the address, you can access to any memory location or any cell. For example, the address of the cell is 000. The address of the cell is 01. This one is 02, 0304 and so on. And the address of this one is the 101112. 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7. The address of the cell is 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. The address of the cell is 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. And these addresses are, are, are in the hexadecimal system. One is the decimal system which is based on 10. Here, uh, this one is the hexadecimal system which is based on the base of 16. In each cell, we can store a value from 00 to FF. FF is the hexadecimal format, which is equal to 255, 255 decimal system. So, we can store minimum value from 0 to 255 in each cell. Uh, so, each cell has about 8-bit 8 uh, 8 memory capacity. In 8-bit words can be stored in each cell. Uh, which is equal to um, numbering 0 to 255 word. If the words becomes greater than 255, this value will be uh, the uh, the values will be uh, overflow, and it again start from zero. If the store word, uh, the store words is greater than uh, 20 in, in hexadecimal system. Then it will be shown here on the ASCII code. These are the four ASCII code representations. So let's write a code for writing the data and the EEPROM of the microcontroller. 
F16, F16 on microcontroller. First, you have to configure this one the configuration bits. You have to set the configuration bits. In order to set the configuration bits, you have to FOIC program program oscillator is internal oscillator is used. And the voice timer is off, power on, power off, power up timer enables off, on, master clear is off, power on, is on, and code production is off, uh, code production of the data is off. In this way, you can configure the configuration bits. And after setting the configuration bits, you have to include the define the cluster frequencies about 4 MHz, and we have to in order to write something in the program memory, we have to initialize two variables of our unsigned characters x and y whose initial value is zero. They, they will be the global variables. Two variables x is used to writing the uh, to writing to the memory and y will be used to read from the memory. We have to start word main word are the main functions. Uh, analog selection bit is 0 cross 0 0 it means all the pins are uh, all the pins will be in uh, digitals analog will be 0 and this will be used comparator configuration is 0 cross ff is used to turn off the comparator in some cases if this is, uh, um, is not used then some pins like ra0 ra1 and ra0 may not work will not change the video when you use this pin as output so sometimes it is necessary to turn off the comparator and this is used to turn off the analog inputs then trace a is equal to 0 cross 0 0 it means all the pins have been used as a digital outputs there are two ports of the PIC16 F6716 microcomputer port A and port C both are used as outputs after that we have to write x is equal to 2 let uh, we have applied the we have assigned the value of two to the variable x. Then we will use the macro a prom write. This is the macro which is used to write something to the data. For example, in location one, we have to write x x equal to two. In location one, we have to write two. Uh, then we give it some uh, while loop. Then we have to write uh, we have to wait in order to write the data on the a prom store data in the uh, AE prom of the macro portal and this is must it must be used in order to write data in the EEPROM but there, uh, otherwise it will not work then we have to put some breakpoints these are the breakpoints when we start compiling uh, when the problem uh, we have to debugging during the debugging, debugging the PC will be stopped on the breakpoint so let's uh, start debugging of the program Uh, here now you can see the PC is on the breakpoint. Program counter uh, is the on the breakpoint. So we have to move forward in this way. Click this step into. So now let's see the program memory before. The default memory, the default values on the program memory is FF, which is 255. All these are the program, the default words. Now we have to write it to location one. We have to write two on the location one. On the memory of uh, the address of zero one, you have to write one. In this way, we have to be assigned. No microcontroller is writing, the making is writing on the program memory. Stay power. No, the video 2 has been written on the program. Let's check it. Now, here you can see it has been uh, written on the address 1. And you can write anywhere in the program memory. For example, let we have to write on the last bit here. We have to write 1 or 2. What happens? Then here we have to write the address of the will be 128, 120, and this address will be 127 about. 
so we have to write to, uh, with the value of 2 it is location upon 27 and we have to stop finish the beginning, the beginning section and recompile the program and debug the program again start it let's step our debug debug it step by step step into this way then we have to use it we have to wait and to avoid waiting we have to click this button we just step out now let's again check the memory here we can see there is no two on the location one but two will have to has been stored on the last location which is uh, 127 address 127 the decimal system and this address will be 7f70 and 0f when we add this to 1 7f 7f will be this address you can also use the hexadecimal numbers as address for example for example we have to write the value here what will be this address? This address will be 3006 will be 3636 with this address. So now let's write 36 on this location. And this 36 will be in hexadecimal format. Let's be 0 cross 36. So to write the value of 2 at the location at the address of 0 cross 3. D6 again we have to finish the debugging and re uh, debug main project again move forward step over and check the memory now here you can see the two is here this video and this address 362 has been stored with this video on the APROM. It means this APROM write is a kind of macro which is used to write to the microcontroller memory. This one is used for address and this one is for data. But this data should be not greater than 255 words. After that, we have to read the data. In order to read the data, we have to uh, this one RA0 is not equal to RA0 is the output pin of the port A and delay is given after that we have to read this Y is equal to EPROM read address 1 this uh, micro is used in order to read the data from the EPROM of the microcontroller uh, so let's uh, this value will be stored in the variable Y if the value of y is equal to 2, then this uh, ra is equal to 1 uh, statement or the command statement will be executed. Otherwise, uh, the programmer, the PC will be uh, bypass this value and direct access to this condition. If this condition is true, then the PC uh, program macro processor will execute this command statement. Otherwise, it will go directly to the last statement. This one. So now, now let's move forward. So let's move forward. Now data has been read from the location address one and assigned to the value of y. If this condition is true, if the value of y is equal to two. So let's again start it and to write the values because address value is wrong. We have to write here is address one. Address one. Now we are going to read the, mem the memory. It means it is just one. The value of two will be written by the program memory in the program counter. This way. Now the PC will read the address 1 and its value will be assigned to the variable y. If the value of y is equal to 2 then it will be executed. 
it means this condition is right and the, uh, the value of the y it address 1 is 2 another condition is wrong as we can see and the while loop the program counter is skipped in this command uh, statement but uh, does not execute this one because this condition is wrong so now let's change the value of x for example value of x equal to 5 and finish the begging and uh, rebuild the program again let's debug the program now let's check the value on the address one what has been stored now you can see it address one the value of five has been stored it address one it means the it address one the value of five has been stored let's move forward this way Now it jumped our uh, this area command statement because this condition is wrong and this condition is right. We will have y is equal to 5 it address 1 of the AP ROM of the program data memory of the microcontroller. You can check again and again. Now let's change the value here to, for example, this value is equal to 10, 12, then both conditions will be wrong. In this case, the value of 12 will be stored. You can see it is this one. The value of 12, which is an hexadecimal system, is equal to 0. C has been stored in location 1. Now let's read the memory. The value of 12 will be assigned to the value of y because the value of y is not equal to 2, it is equal to 12, so this condition will be wrong. Jump power and this condition will be too wrong. And it directly execute the last condition because both conditions are wrong. The value of y is now neither 2 nor 5, but it is 12. This way. It will bypass both the statements. Directs move to the last command statement. So for more detail, we will learn in the next video. Thank you for watching our video. For any inquiries, you can write in the comments.